Hidden deep inside a mountain in Japan, a lab is being built. It's a place so sensitive it could detect a single camera flash on the surface of the moon. But it's not built to spy on enemies. It's built to spy on the universe. They have a single goal, to find the unfindable. To hunt for a particle so small and so strange, it passes through us by the billions every second without a trace. This is the story of the Mountain Lab and the $600 million quest to catch a ghost. Here, deep inside a mountain called Nijugo, scientists are building a colossal machine named Hyper Kamiokande, or Hyper K for short. Imagine a structure 80 meters tall and 70 meters wide, bigger than any cathedral on Earth, all hidden from view. But why go to such incredible lengths? Why hide a scientific marvel deep inside a mountain? The answer lies in the fundamental building blocks of our universe. Everything we see is made of atoms, and atoms are made of tiny particles like quarks and bosons. But the most abundant and most mysterious of all are the neutrinos. They are the smallest, strangest particles in existence. Billions of them pass through your body every single second, right now, as you watch this, and you don't feel a thing. They are the true ghosts of the cosmos. Neutrinos can travel through entire planets without being stopped. So why build a lab deep inside a mountain to catch them? The answer is simple, to get rid of everything else. The mountain acts as a massive shield, blocking all other cosmic signals, stray radiation, cosmic rays, and other particles that would interfere with their work. Hyper-K needs to operate in a place with almost zero light and zero radiation pollution. It must be absolutely clean. The mountain creates a perfect cosmic vacuum. This isn't their first attempt. Just next to this new site is a smaller, earlier version built in 1996 called Super Kamiokande. To shield it, they had to dig a thousand meters underground. But now, instead of going even deeper, they found a better way. A mountain. It's safer, more stable, and still completely isolated from the chaotic noise of the world above. Hollowing out the mountain is just the beginning. The next step is a feat of engineering on a biblical scale. They will fill this massive chamber with special concrete to make it completely waterproof, and then it will become the largest water tank in the world. It will hold an astonishing 260 million liters of ultra-pure water. Filling it alone will take over six months, pumping water in day and night. Ultra-pure water is the perfect material for a neutrino detector. When a neutrino passes through it, most of the time, nothing happens. But every once in a while, perhaps just a few times a year, one of these elusive particles will slam into an electron inside a water molecule. And in that precise moment, a tiny, brilliant flash of light is produced. You and I would never see this flash. It's too small, too fast. But surrounding the tank are thousands of special sensors, each one a hypersensitive camera. These cameras are so powerful, they could detect a small light bulb being lit on the moon. And they're not just delicate instruments. They are built with special layers to survive the enormous pressure of 260,000 tons of water pressing down on them. That tiny flash is all it takes. That one moment of light is the entire purpose of this incredible $600 million machine. This is not a project that happened overnight. The dream for Hyper Kamiokande began over 22 years ago, in 1999, at the University of Tokyo. It took decades of planning and designing before they could even break ground. In 2021, they finally began drilling the mountain. It's a project that has now grown to include scientists from 22 countries, all working together to build this cosmic spyglass. By 2027, the Hyper-K lab is expected to be finally finished. So why go to all this trouble? Why spend so much time and money 
just to catch a particle that we can't even feel? The answer is simple. To build knowledge. Particle physics is the fundamental science that gave us things like MRI machines, which use particles instead of harmful radiation to see inside the human body. Even the Internet as we know it came from particle physics research. Tim Berners-Lee, who helped invent the World Wide Web, was working with other particle physicists at CERN. They weren't trying to build the Internet, they were just trying to solve bigger questions about the universe. But in the process, they realized it was possible. Just like those scientists who gave us the World Wide Web, these new scientists believed that by studying the smallest particle in the universe, they might discover something world-changing. They're not building weapons, they're building a foundation of knowledge. And that might just change the world. Perhaps by looking for a ghostly particle, they will find the key to a better future.